Oakland's, baby. Let's go, Oakland! Let's go, Oakland! Let's go, Oakland! I'm currently heading downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm heading down to the March Madness tournament that's happening first round. Today is March 19th, 2024. It's a Thursday. I'm pretty hyped up. Should be a good game. So I did a little gamble and I put 154-ish. I'll put the bet up here. But basically I took Creighton minus 12 and a half. I took Oregon plus one and a half. Kentucky minus 13.5 and Texas Tech minus five. Fingers crossed it happens for my 150 some dollar parlay. It's gonna be like a $1,600 profit. Fingers crossed. My main goals though, just so you guys know what the objectives are in this video, what to look forward to. One, I got ripped off. I paid $70 before fees on Ticketmaster for my ticket, which was like 93 after here's my receipt. And basically that kind of sucked because I looked online just a little bit before I started driving and they were already as low as like 20 bucks. I saw them as cheap as almost 15 or 10. So one of those two were the cheapest I've seen because I once I buy a ticket, I'm weird. I like to check the prices. I like to know if I got ripped off or what the whole situation with that is. So I always check prices. Maybe I'm weird for that. Some people just buy the ticket and they say, whatever, I have a ticket, I'm done with this. But me personally, I like to know if I got ripped off or if I bought smartly because I sell NFL tickets as a little side hustle. Now I'm not gonna get on to that right now. But anyway, long story short, I got ripped off on the first section. March Madness in Pittsburgh, there's four games and they're selling the tickets by game one and two and game three and four. So there's two different tickets you could buy or you could buy an all day pass. But when I looked, it was way more expensive to get like the all day pass or to buy like all three sessions because we have around two in Pittsburgh also. So it just seems smarter to buy them individually, which is what I ended up doing. So I just bought a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, I bought myself, just one individual. I'm going down by myself. So I bought myself a ticket to the first session and the second session for today. I know I already got ripped off for the first session. I'm kind of ticked off about that. So my goal is to see how close, like how close to the court, how good of a seat can I slide into just by kind of like bouncing around during the games and see if I can get like almost court side or be on like court side. That would be so cool for knowing I only paid the 70. Then I wouldn't feel ripped off because right now, I'm a little butt hurt. I can't lie. I feel like I got ripped off by like not Ticketmaster. I didn't get ripped off by anybody but myself. I was just a dummy. I thought March Madness would be a bigger event. I thought they'd like sell out tickets. So I just thought they would go up in value. I should have held off. I knew better. Most events I wait till the day of the event to buy the ticket to get the best deal possible. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But basically there's four objectives for today mainly. Just see where the best location I can get to is objective one. Two is from a previous video, if you guys watched where I scared a stranger, I kind of got became friends with Eli. So objective two will be to meet up with Eli because he's going to be here all day too. So at one point in time, I got to run up. Maybe I'll scare him again. That'll be funny. Objective three is win some money. I already told you guys about the bet. So one, get to the best seat location. Two, run into Eli at some point today. Three, win some money. Four, have a great time and enjoy life. That's all today is going to be about. I'm sorry this is a super long intro. I really appreciate you guys who watch and subscribe to the channel and just like keep up with my adventures. And I'm just a random ass dude here living just out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mainly a sports channel, I would say. Travel, sports, whatever you want to consider my channel to be. I'm just out here trying to have fun, enjoying life, and want to show you guys that it's possible. Yeah, today was a little bit of a pricier day. It cost me like $200 total for the two tickets. I'll put both of them side by side up here so you can see what I paid. And then of course I gambled, which gets expensive. But if I win the gambling, then that basically paid for my tickets and paid for my whole adventure. So I don't know. You just have to roll with the punches and you just have to try to enjoy life. That's all, that's the main gist my channel is about. Again, sorry for the super long intro. I appreciate my subscribers. I appreciate anybody who watches. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into today. I'm on my way to Pittsburgh, March Madness. It's in PPG Paints, our hockey stadium, because Pittsburgh doesn't have an NBA team, which they need. If you guys are looking for somebody to like own a team that doesn't have a bunch of money and you can just like give it to, I'll run a Pittsburgh NBA team, but we all be black and gold. As you guys can see, it's 1243, and I'm just entering the highway to go toward Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania. I'm probably about 20 minutes-ish away if there's no traffic. 
So we're gonna fingers crossed I make it on time. That's the first mission. The first game starts at 1.30, so I gotta haul a little ass. I'm about 20 minutes without traffic, so I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of traffic. See what happens. And the first mission now is to get free parking. Because you can definitely park downtown near the stadium for free, but the problem is how many people know about it, I'm not sure, and if a lot of people know about it and there's a big crowd, it's gonna be gone. Uh, not a good sign getting in a bunch of traffic. We finally made it down to the city. It's 12.55, I'm doing good on time. So right now we just gotta get off on our exit, which is coming up in the next, we're on Boulevard of the Allies. There's downtown Pittsburgh, my beautiful home city. It's not a whole lot to look at, but I'm proud. I rep the black and gold, we bleed it out here. Here are all the paid parking lots, so these ones are 20, but I still think there will be a lot better of a deal as I get way down here. Not like on this main road. This is all going to be pain, but I will teach you guys the secrets of where to park for free if you're lucky. If you stay tuned. Man, beautiful Pittsburgh, PA. There's PPG Paints with the blue sign. Maybe I'm being dumb. I did find free parking, so I'm parked right here behind me. I remember that green painted wall was a checkpoint and I want to mark what road I'm at. Now this road did say permit parking one hour only, so I don't know. I'm taking a risk. Let's see. I'm right here. I'm watching. All right, Watson Street. That's where I'm parked. So now I know. But let me go over and show you guys the one hour parking. And I have to remember that green paint. There's no way I'll forget that. That's where I parked for free. So there's my truck right there. I just beeped it. There is this sign. I'm really hoping I'm not in the area. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna risk it. It's 117. I got 13 minutes till the first tip off. I made it to the stadium. I'm about to go get in line right there behind me. Let's do it. It's 123. I made it into the stadium, but I only got seven minutes till the first tip off. So right now, the goal is get to the seat. I'm up in the 200. So bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop them bills. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I take it to the back of the room and tell me how you feel. She so bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop them bills. I make a lot of hits, one day they gon' run from me. I see the one that I get who gives a damn about a bill. I take it to the back of the room and tell me how you feel. She so bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop them bills. I make a lot of hits, one day they gon' run from me. See it, I want it, I get it, who gives a damn about a bill? I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm out of this transfer. She told me I'm faded, can you get me out of here? Take me to the back of the room, I'll let you explode my body. Well, it cost me like 16 bucks, but I'm gonna eat this chicken once I get to my seat. All right, we'll see how this is, some rice bowl chicken. That was pretty good. That's so funny, they threw the game on up in the corner so people start booing. So this game's actually going on live. We got a different game. Come on, let's go Duke. Everyone's cheering on the Duke game. Come on. going on down here. So I'm wearing Dukes. I'm going to stand up if they win and shout. I'm 
I'm hoping Oregon pulls it off, man. Yeah. Game one has been finished. My team won by 17. That was more than enough I needed by my spread, so I'm hyped for that. We will see how the next game goes. Oregon, that's probably my most excited game for today, the Oregon game, so that's the next one. See what happens. I'm in row two. I'm trying to get up to row one, maybe. If the game starts and no one shows, there is two seats right there. Fingers crossed they don't show, I'll start moving up some. Let's go Ducks. Damn this way. I take you to the back of the room and tell me how you feel. She's so bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop and pills. Let's start the game off good. I do not need a charger yet, thankfully. I'm at like 70%, but that's cool. They have this little rent chargers. You can rent some of those chargers for, I don't know what the fee is. I really hope I don't have to use it. I should have brought my little portable charger, but I didn't think about it. But I managed to move down one row. I'm in the front row right now. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to get down lower, but I doubt it. This is probably the best I'll get for right now. Time of the second game, the score is 34 29. Oregon's in the lead, so I don't know. Right now, I'm still front row of the top level. I would love to get down there to the lower level, especially because there's only about an hour intermission. And I'd love to run to the car and try to smoke a blunt, so we'll see how it all goes. But right now, my goal is to get down there. All right, I made it down to the 100 section, so now I'm just walking around in the food court areas. There's all the entrances to the sections. I just gotta figure out exactly what I'm doing. We'll figure this out yet. Oh shit, right behind me, they're doing like the news. You see that light? Interesting, interesting. Uh, I doubt I was, but there was a chance I was on the news back there. That's kind of cool. Hey, quick what? You guys aren't recording right now, right? No. So how, is it just because March Madness? Because I've seen like six other yeah, news groups. Yeah, okay, yeah, so nothing crazy happened yeah, here. Yeah, just okay. people coming March the Madness. Stuff, have a good one, you guys. Best of luck. Damn, I was so close. I went in there. I should have filmed it, but I sat in two different seats. But I asked the people next to me, were there people in there? And people said yes. So I kind of, I just kept moving. I didn't want to get kicked out by the workers. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. We'll see what happens. If I don't get a seat this time, I might just go back up to the top, but we'll see. For there, I'm trying to look casual. That's why I didn't want it straight, because there's workers right there. And one already questioned me. Oh, I'm just on my phone. I'm just video -taping. I'm like, so which entrance, which entrance is it that the main entrance is right behind? Because I don't have the ticket, I'm with a big group. So I know we were in the entrance, we're in the hundreds. As soon as you come up the main entrance to the main gate, it's the first, it's the first time. It's over there. It was partly my fault. I was being a bit of a chicken, but I didn't really get any better seats. So I'm just going back to 213, my actual seat. Still most of the second half available to see. So just be happy I'm here, oh well. It is what it is. I didn't get to a front row seat, but I'm having fun. I hate leaving games early, but in order to get back to the car, smoke, and get back before the third game, I think I'm going to have to leave early. So right now, there's 11 minutes. I think I'm going to leave when there's about five or six minutes left. Yeah, 11.09 left right now, and they're winning by a good bit. If it was a closed game, I wouldn't leave. Oh, man. If you guys watch the channel, you'll know this isn't something I do. I don't care if I bet on the game. 
that freaking, I never really bet this much, but I could have bet a thousand dollars on the game. And if my team's losing at the very beginning, I don't care. I stay to the very end. But in this rare, rare circumstance, it's not worth missing the start of the next game on a game that I already feel like there's definitely going to be a win on the Oregon. So to me, it just makes no sense not to just run out to the card real quick now so I don't miss any of the third game, just miss a little bit of the second game. Sucks to miss anything of any game, but at this point, I just want to smoke a little weed, and then I'll get back in here for the third and fourth game because I'm going to have to leave no matter what anyways. Damn, there's massive news crews. There's two right there. There's a third one behind me and some more over there. There's news crews everywhere here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's all kinds of news crews. Oh, I'm still like a block away, but I can see the truck. Let me zoom in. There you go, right behind that Camry, I think it is, or Corolla. You see the red truck? That's me, I think. Oh, time to get there. I'm back at the whip. Two out of the four games are done, so there's a little like hour break period where they make everyone leave the stadium and come it back in. So I ran out to the car, let my phone charge up a little bit because I use my phone as my camera, so my battery's been draining. I really don't want to use that five dollar per hour charger that they do have, which I will use if I have to, because I'm not gonna like not be able to finish the video. Obviously, that would suck. But fingers crossed, with this little bit of time, I'm sending the car in between the games, it can charge up. But long story short. Creighton won by the minus 12 and a half. They won by 17, so I cannot complain about that. I think 17. But then also, Oregon, I just looked it up. They won by 87 to 73. And that is so awesome because I won two out of my four bets so far. Two more to go. I got Kentucky minus, I believe, 13 and a half. And then I also have Texas Tech minus five. Man, gambling can be tempting. So basically, I just looked at my bet, and for my $154 and some change bet, right now, since I'm two out of four games done and I won, I could cash out for $307.45, but I don't know. Like, it sucks because I have a chance of like 1600 if two more games go right. So I'm definitely milking it out through this one. Then in between the last game, if I actually win this one and I'm three out of four right, I'll check what the cash out option is. Tell me in the comments what you guys would do. Would you cash out? Or maybe if I make it through this game and tell you what it is, would you cash out then? Either way, I don't know. Gambling can be crazy. I'm just hoping if I milk it, I can win the 1600 Fingers crossed make this like a crazy memorable experience for me coming down here by myself if I can win 1600 I'm walking back to PPG Paints. I got about a half hour till the third game starts, so I'm just working my way back to the stadium. It's definitely a little chilly out still for March 21st, but it is what it is. At least I'm indoors during this event. I just want to say thank you guys. This has been a fun adventure. It's definitely cool. I would say if anybody gets the opportunity, do it. It's like worth it. It's a long day. I'm not saying everybody wants to do four games, but at least do two of them if you can. Get, get, get on my head. Get, get, get on my head.